tonight we're gonna make bacon and cheese elk burgers with homemade Cajun fries. I peeled and sliced up some russet potatoes into french fry sized pieces and I'll drop those down in a 375 degree fryer filled with vegetable oil for three to four minutes. And we'll finish cooking those when the burgers are almost done. Gonna drop down some elk patties on the 28 inch griddle. Meanwhile, I'll drop down some bacon and I'll season everything with my favorite seasoning on planet Earth. The bacon's done, so I'll turn that burner off and we'll move that to the side for later. Aaron's gonna put a slice of Jarlsberg cheese on each patty. And a couple of slices of bacon on top of the cheese. Meanwhile, we'll toast up some potato rolls and we'll drop the fries back down for about eight to 10 more minutes. Oh, it's gonna be delicious. Check out these french fries. We're using fast food baskets with some wax paper. Put some of those golden fries in the basket. Sprinkle them with High Mountain's Cajun seasoning. Take a look at that. Father God, we thank you for this delicious food that you've provided for us. We thank you for this incredibly beautiful night. And we pray that you'll bless this food for us. In Jesus' name, amen. There's nothing like a griddle cooked burger, High Mountain's Hickory Burger seasoning. These fries are delicious. My wife was reading the instructions for our deep fryer and it suggested the double fry method to cook them, to let them sit for a while and then put them in for the final crisping and that literally was the icing on the cake. They're wonderful mm. and that Cajun seasoning on top, wow. Mm. So use some high mountain seasonings to spice up your cooking this year. Thanks for joining us today. If you haven't subscribed to our videos, please do so. And until next time, this is the Rocky Mountain Meat Hunter and his family saying praise, praise the Lord, Lord and pass the elf.